U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona traveled through the Midwest on his return to school bus tour September 20th through the 24th. His first stop was at Locust Lane Elementary in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. The purpose of the bus tour was to let people know that it is okay to be back in school. Some large school districts are mandating vaccines for children who are attending in-person school. So do you think that there will be a federal mandate on vaccinations for children who are attending in person? I believe local districts are doing that and in some places the states are considering that. You know, the federal government, uh, especially the Department of Education, doesn't have a role in requiring vaccines, but we strongly suggest and I support those efforts. In-school students are able to claim religious or personal conviction exemptions for common vaccines such as the MMR vaccine. People are concerned if these exemptions will be able to be applied to the COVID vaccine. Yeah, Even before COVID, there yeah. were exemptions made and I respect the rights of folks who have religious exemptions. This process is not linear and it's not um, you know, as, as simple as some would like it to be. But at the end of the day, what we're talking about is public health. So public health and the health of others, not just myself, but the people that I'm around, matters. Many are also concerned that students are behind in learning. Schools are faced with the challenge of making sure their students are reaching their full potential during a pandemic that's taken many out of in-person learning for long stretches. You know, every student I talk to, they're just happy to be with their friends. That social emotional piece, right? We talk a lot about the digital divide but the relationship divide is something that we have to focus on. So making sure that you have access to fun activities in school and the sports or extracurricular activities, that's just as important as the academic acceleration. We know students lost content, so we have to accelerate it. But the American Rescue Plan, there were $130 billion allocated to states across the country to help and, and get tutors for students that need it, additional teachers, additional school counselors. Um, so the money is there for, for extra support. And I think in the next year or two, you're going to see a lot more support for students who are feeling a little bit behind either academically or need a little bit of access to um, social emotional support or mental health access. Because we know we, we all went through this trauma together. The fear of online learning has impacted many students' decision on whether or not they will continue their education after high school. 70% of the jobs out there require some training after high school. Yes. So we really want to make this about career planning. We have to do better in our high schools across the country to make sure that we're uh, providing clear uh, college and career access pathways, give students opportunity to see what's out there. And then our community colleges and our four-year colleges have to find creative and innovative ways to re-engage those who they might have lost in the pandemic. For the PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Kaylee Sweeno in Black River Falls, Wisconsin.